Uh, uh, from the live footage, can we say that uh, the commander of the mission Jing Haipeng is now entering the capsule? Yes, mm. they, they are now entering the capsule and mm. uh, one by one the astronauts are being prepared mm. by the ground crew. Mm. As you see that the, uh, the man with the white hat yeah. are the ground crew uh, supporting mm. and he's trying carefully positioning the mm. astronauts into a very uh, safe position. A position that uh, you would uh, experience when you are you are in your uh, when you, before you were born, mm. and that you you have the same position after the astronauts. So they the have same. to use the, the, the fetus position. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now the commander, Mr. Jing Haipeng, has entered the capsule, the Shenzhou Eleven space craft, and it's a very small entry interface, isn't it? Yes, uh, it's a small one because when, once the capsule coming back, uh, you experience this very high temperature. So you have to keep the door very small uh, mm. to uh, keep the thermal uh, mm. uh, environment and, and life support environment. Yes, actually that's uh, Mr. Chen Dong, the first time astronaut that just enter the space capsule. So talking about that entry interface, is that the same one that would dock with Tiangong 2? Yes, the uh, the capsule is going to be the the place where they take off, mm -hmm. uh, they escape, or they come back, and then the the docking is uh, uh, on the uh, on the service module, uh, where they they will use uh, a number of in, ex, uh, instruments to pointing the the rendezvous and docking. So there is a, a service module attached to uh, the capsule itself. Uh, and then once in space, the service module will be fully used for uh, rendezvous and docking purpose. Mm. So this capsule, uh, you, you mentioned uh, life support is a very important element in, in, in this uh, capsule. So what about oxygen? It produces its own oxygen or it carries tanks? It carries not a number of uh, oxygen tanks. Uh, there is also... A for 30 days stay? Uh, they, they also will test the recycled system. Mm. Uh, they, uh, because the long station duration, a long duration stay, you have to use a reci recycled system, uh, not for only for oxygen, also but for uh, for waters and other mm. uh, essentials. Um, there are also uh, three sources, or the two sources that can use the form. One is that they have already uh, launched a number of cargoes on board the Tengun Two, mm. uh, which happened a month ago. It's in orbit and has a lots of life support. Uh, 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 equipment and facilities on board, and the other one is uh, uh, they, they carry the by themselves. Uh, and once these two uh, spacecraft are, are, are integrated in one, after docking, they will have a full month's life support uh, equipment, facilities, and experiments and life support systems, even their food uh, prepared and ready. Uh, and uh, next year, there's an, another one coming up, uh, mm. which is. Uh, a cargo boat that will also uh, in the future will be used for uh, sending life support uh, equipment and, and system uh, to the space station. Mm. So we know that in, in space launches uh, payload is being carefully calculated even into less than grams. So uh, uh, talking about life support, you mentioned there may be food and other uh, medicine and everything. So uh, the, talking about life support on Tiangong 2, uh, is it only sufficient for a one month stay, even a little bit longer? But that's all, right? I think that's all because there are no further uh, human missions planned for this uh, Tiangong 2. Mm. Uh, and in addition to that, we have also a cargo boat uh, coming up next year, uh, which means that we can send more uh, life support, uh, food, and, and, more, and beverage, and also including fuel uh, of, uh, of the sta station. To, uh, to to Tiangong too, so uh, at this moment, uh, uh, so that can be realized by one single cargo ship. Yes, it can be done by one single cargo ship uh, to support even half year uh, life support equipment. Mm. Uh, uh, there are two systems uh, that we use uh, currently. There is a, a Russian system and and the European or, or U.S. system. Uh, the Russian system is to send uh, fuel and food on board and refuel the spacecraft and the European system called ATV is using is using uh, the the uh, the ATV to lift mm. the station by themselves 